Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss how to combine the data from different files into a single file. So let's just say we have different Excel sheets. And what we want to do is we want to combine all uh, these Excel sheets into a one uh, single file. So let me open these Excel sheets, these CSV files. You would see that we have data for, for this symbol uh, in this file for this single company over here. And then in second file, we have data for a different company. So what we want is that we want to combine the data for all these forms into a single file. Okay, for that, we have to follow three steps. And the first step is that we need to tell Stata that what is our current working directory. The command that we use to change our current directory is cd, which stands for change directory. So in this case, this is the directory that I want to be my working directory. All the files would be saved here and all the data would be extracted from this specific folder. Let me execute this command. So now the working directory has changed. In second exam, in second step, what we are going to do is we are going to use for values loop. The variable name would be i. This would be an assumed variable which would take value from 1 till 15. It would run 15 times. Why 15 times? Because we have 15 files in this specific case. And they are numbered 1 to 15. We would first clear the data. So any data that is stored there in our current data set would be deleted in current uh, memory of this data. Then we are going to use import delimited. Remember this command is used to import any CSV file. So we are going to import this first CSV which would be 1.csv. So this i variable would assume the value of 1 and then in second case it would assume the value of 2. So when we want to combine this data, remember we cannot combine it using the CSV file directory. What we need to do is we need to first convert this data into a Stata format. So we want to save this file, we want to get this file, we want to import this data into Stata. Then we want to save it into a Stata format, into an extension which is called .dta. It is a data extension of Stata. So we are going to use a save command and we are going to save it using the same name which would be 1.dta and replace any file with the same name that is stored previously. Let me execute this command, this loop. So now you would see that it imported the first CSV file uh, into Stata and then converted it in, into a data format and saved it into a data format. Then it imported the second CSV file and stored it into uh, a file uh, in Stata format that is uh, 2.dta. Uh, DTA is the extension of a Stata file. Let me show you this in the folder. You would see that previously we just had these Excel files, these CSV files, and now we have these data files. And if you open them up, uh, we have this data being imported into uh, each of these files. But rather than saving all these files into in this same folder, we want to organize them into different folders. So let's just say we want to organize them into a folder called folder 2, or we can call it uh, data folder or Stata files. And so how would we do that? We would simply write folder 2 and we would use double forwards, uh, sorry, backward slashes. Uh, so why double backward slashes? Although in this case we have used a single uh, backward slash to denote entering into a folder, but in this case we would have to use double because uh, it's, if there is an apostrophe, then the single backward sla forward slash would be uh, to, to eliminate that apostrophe. So in that case, if there is an apostrophe before a slash, then we would have to use two of them. So let me rerun this command. It would follow the same process, but instead of saving all these files over here, it would nicely store them into this uh, specific folder. Okay. 
So that sounds good, but uh, we have again just stored these files into different stata files. We haven't combined them yet. For that, we would have step three. In this step three, what we would do is we would loop through all these files that are stored in that folder two and we would append them remember this append is used to uh, so so let me give you an idea if you wanted to so this is this uh, data file if you want to add data in in columns then we would use merge command right that is uh, so combining a data set our different data sets uh, have again two types whether we want to add them into columns or we want to add additional rows of data over here, right? That would depend. So if you want to add additional rows of data over here, then we would use append command. But if you want to, to add uh, further columns, then we would use merge command. And for merge command, we would have another video uh, in future. Okay, so in this case, we want to append them because we have data for different uh, different companies and the data set is same. We want to, uh, so currently we have a time series data in each of the files, but we want to convert them into panel data. So we want to um, uh, stack them up uh, so that we have a panel format data. We would again use for values loop and we know we have file 1 to 15. We would use append command using the file name because we have stored them into folder two. So we would again use folder two over here because it would access these files, this uh, one dot DT or two dot DTA file from this folder two. If you haven't stored them into folder two, then you would simply, uh, simply give the file name. Okay. So it is imported in this specific file. We would simply click save and save this file wherever you want. So, so just to make sure that how many symbols do we have in this file, you would use unique command. So we have 15 companies of data in this specific file. If you tabulate symbol, then it would give you the number of observations that we have for each form. So now we know that we have combined data. But this was this case was simple because all the files were numbered, right? Let's just say they aren't numbered. Let's just say that uh, this specific file is given a random name, right? So now we do not know, we cannot use for values loop and loop them from one to 15, right? Uh, in that case, we, we do have another way out. Again, we would use this first step we would change the directory. Let me just clear this data before moving forward. So we would change the directory. Then we would use this local files command. And what this command would do is that this whole is a single command, right? If this is how it would look like. So what this local command would do is it would uh, it would go to this directory, this specific directory where all these uh, CSV files are stored. And uh, in my case, this directory is within this E drive and it would get the list of all the files that are named static.csv so static is a wild card so irrespective of what the file name is all the files that are with the extension of .csv would uh, would be stored in this list by the name of files so then for each file in the files so for each value in this list we want to loop through first we want to clear any data if there is any data in the memory of this data then we want to import that specific file the first file in the list and then we want to save that uh, with the same file name in this same folder let me go through this and you would see that we had these files these files aren't numbered as they were before but they are stored using the same file name as it had with the csv okay 
now what now we would simply combine these files again we would use the same local files command and we could give the directory name which is again the uh, this directory in our if e drive but this time instead of getting all the list of all the csv file we would get the list of all the data file dot dta file we would store the the list of these files into this files variable and we would loop through this files variable and it would append it would start with file one and start appending all the other files within that specific file so let me loop through this and again uh, if i go through the data you would see we have first firm over here then we have the second company then we have this third company and so on and so forth and to just to make sure that we have um, we have data for all the firms we would just uh, see how how many unique firms are there in our data we have 15 unique firms and if we tabulate the firm it would show us the frequency distribution so now we know that we have got the data of all the firms so this is how you append the data and uh, you combine the data from different excel or stata files so uh, do subscribe my channel and uh, hit the bell icon so as soon as i upload any video you would get a notification of that thank you for watching my video